vital research is, but how it's not to overpower everything. And the thing about Blood Money is it starts with a, a, a man who comes out of a very, very brutal prison and finds out that the reason he's been released from his prison is that his sister sold one of her organs right, to pay okay. for the money to get him released from prison. So this is the kickoff of the book. And then it, it travels from uh, you know some really, really horrible places in the Eastern Europe uh, all the way into Ireland where he meets some equally more horrible people. <laughs> so, uh, and that's the glory of crime fiction. Okay. Uh, what, do you, what did you base your research on for uh, particularly for the Balkans for uh, that prison in the Balkans uh, actually there's a number of prisons that are from the Eastern Bloc prisons and a couple of really 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 dangerously bad prisons yeah. in Russia okay. uh, funnily yeah. enough where okay. it's just the most appalling circumstances people find them in it's very brutal very violent a lot of people die and it. it's got a very high incidence yeah. of AIDS it's a very high incidence of HIV and yeah. um, if you're any kind of weak person at all you're you're pretty pretty sure you're going to have a really bad time. So I did quite a bit of research that way. You actually called one of the persons Minsk, I remember. In, yeah, uh, yeah, that's so correct. That's, that's, that's that Russian, yeah. Russian connection. It does, of course, yeah. 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 Okay, but uh, then when it moves to Ireland, uh, what about the research for the stuff that's done in Ireland? Is well, it was it, it was at the cusp of the Celtic Tiger, well, just tilting over, and Ireland went through a little research. Uh, very unusual resurgence of people having more money than sense. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, so people yeah. were getting into the... I don't want to say like a full flown, like not like a Hollywood plastic, uh, yeah. plastic, uh, um, um, plastic surgery, but there were people starting to pay, you know, pay like top dollar for veneers and have right, cheek implants and things that we would not as a, as a nation have even considered before. Yeah. So what happens when they come to Ireland is I had this particularly good clinic where people were coming to pay a lot of money to look very fabulous. And then when the slide started, people were paying less money and they were less concerned about whether or not their cheekbones were exactly right. Uh, so the operator of the clinic, Frida Mayweather, a very beautiful, blonde, icy lady, decided that the best way to get new revenue in would be to start selling organs. And that's the connecting from what happened at the start. So, you know, if you have enough money, the black, there's a black market there. I mean, there's a black market exists. So if you need a, a like a kidney or a, or, or a liver or a section of liver you know yeah. it can be found it can be found okay so uh, do you think you go to some dark places then when you're researching all this stuff yeah but the human condition can be very dark so it's it's easy to tap into it uh, what was it that made you pick uh, crime as a genre in itself um i think because it's quite inventive and because you can you know, play around with a lot of scope. You can kind of go from families to politics to things that are actually happening in the world, things that you, you learn are happening in the world, and you can delve into it. So okay, it's an okay. interesting, most of, the, most of the topics are fairly interesting. Okay. Um, can I ask you then, uh, concludingly, uh, do you have any particular Irish writers who influenced you? Irish writers, um, yeah, I'm a big fan of John Connolly. I'm a big fan of Louise, actually, yeah, now. Okay. She's, she's just really sort of turned the psychological crime yeah. on its head slightly. I love Tana French. Uh, okay. Tana's not technically Irish, but she's she lives here and she's here a long time. Um, I like Casey Hill, but she lives in London. But you know, but she's uh, she's as Irish as I am. So yeah, there's quite a few. And, and Declan Hughes, Declan Burke. You know, as Louise said in her in her in her speech, you know, we're all kind of quite connected with each other, and we all kind of know each other fairly well, and we would read a lot of each other's yeah, work. It's a, it's so it's 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 a nice, but it's a nice, but it's a nice village. It's not the village of squinting windows. It's a nice village where people are actually quite nice to each other. Okay, Arlene Hunt, thanks for talking to us. No problem at all. Thanks, Take care. Thank you.